Hey, this is Eric, and we are here with a Rewind Theater for Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm here with Dave. What's up? All right, let's get right into this. So this could be Cuba, uh, we think, maybe, and we saw some jets flying over bombing it. And this guy, um, the bald guy here. Looks a little bit like Bruce Willis. Looks a bit like Bruce Willis. Uh, we're thinking one of the characters, maybe the main character. We don't know yet. We haven't seen this guy yet, though. Uh, he could be you. We're not sure. Um, going along with the VO, it's probable. Okay, so we've seen this guy before. If we go back to him, and he's standing near uh, one missile is taking off, could be nukes. Uh, near missile silos. We saw this guy in the teaser. Uh, we'll just call him Snake from now on, but uh, he looks like one of the main characters in the game. Possibly this game, Soap McTavish, if you will, right? It's true. And uh, we're kind of skipping around in the suit. It's a little bit tough to hear the voiceover that's going on over this, but they confirm that they're kind of just rewriting history here. This is Black Ops. This is stuff that you've never heard about before, so this is not following history directly. Right, which is pointed out right here, if you look really closely, this is a CIA document that's being uh, redacted, which means they're crossing everything out, and they cross a lot of stuff out, like even the weapons, which I don't really understand, but it's saying that what you know is wrong, and we're rewriting it. But they do give us a date in there. Yep. If we go frame it up on there. We see July 21st, 1961. There it is. On one of the uh, documents. And all these documents appear to be about nukes and... Um, you know, wartime activities, possibly gas, we're not sure. And we saw uh, a little bit earlier here uh, a picture of the moon, and it said the space race. And uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, mm -hmm. the space race. There we go. So we keep going. We also see a mustachioed figure appear here for a second uh, as we get into a, little, a few more of the characters in this trailer. We don't know who he is either, but uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, so we see a lot more combat. Stuff that we saw in the teaser, but in, in more detail. Here's uh, this guy. And here we get a good look at exactly where we are going to be fighting. Because if you go a couple frames ahead here, right there we get a flag. Yeah, and we believe that's the South Vietnamese flag. So there's a good indication of where one of the levels is, at least. Uh, we speculated Cuba, Vietnam, Russia. You know, it's likely that all these places are, uh, are in the game because you do jump around a lot in Call of Duty. And uh, moving ahead, more repelling. I don't know if they're kind of going to build on the Modern Warfare 2 idea of the breaching clear stuff and maybe have a repel that goes into a slow motion when you uh, roll in through a window. Right, so you can breach from the rappel, which seems to be happening a lot. Okay, so right here is really interesting. You see a shotgun blast to this guy's face and chest, and then he lights on fire, which is awesome. Incendiary shotgun, we're guessing. New weapon. Uh, a lot more missiles flying, a lot more combat. Oh, and here we go again, another new weapon. Some sort of scoped laser sighted auto crossbow <laughs> with explosive rounds with explosive round because he's tagged and uh, in the leg and that guy then blows up which is totally great so now we've got confirmation we got bruce willis and we've got rambo <laughs> it's gonna be the ultimate action <laughs> snake play. bruce willis and Ram rambo possibly in the game okay so here we have a recoilless rifle or i'm just gonna call it a rocket rocket launcher but uh firing a large explosive into a building which then explodes everywhere more destructible environments right more indication that you know Destructible environments in this game could play a part in the combat, which would be great. Uh, we have our badass character kind of drowning here in a downed helicopter. More space race stuff. And if you want, rewind back just a little bit. There we go. So there we have some more text, which could be Vietnamese um, on the side of that billboard right there. Uh, I guess just further con confirmation of what we said before uh, of the locations we believe this is taking place. Uh, you know, we're thinking about a lot of Bay of Pigs uh, conflicts, denied conflicts going on, um, and possibly some, some conflicts in Vietnam that were denied, and the Arctic for Russia. So. And uh, here we have a chopper attack on a building, people getting mowed down. More explosions. I just want to go back a second before this helicopter and take a look at this scene right here. This scene sort of indicates to me that the, the badass with the bandana is not the playable guy in, in a lot of the sequences. We know that a lot of the Call of Duty games always have somebody they focus on uh, who's a character who is not you. And since he's tossing you a weapon right here, that sort of indicates they're kind of going with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we go forward. Uh, here, a really interesting look at, it looks like a hind, a variation on the hind chopper, a M124A. It um, doesn't seem to have a cockpit. It seems to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, Black Ops chopper. I'm not really sure, but it's, a, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool take on that. Uh, we saw this in the teaser. This is just massive destruction from a helicopter, possibly on rail section. And then uh, we've got a guy here, base jumping confirmed. Or maybe he's just committing suicide in very extravagant fashion. <laughs> so he, that's right. Either he's uh, moving in on a target or he just decided to take his own life. We're not quite sure. But I think that that's what we've got for this trailer. 
That about wraps it up, yeah. We once again get the release date at the end, November 9th. And we'll likely be hearing a whole lot about this game in the future, and we'll see if any of these guesses were on point. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Rewind Theater.